Today on EDC Explained, I want to talk to you about watches. As with the other videos, there are three watches that I mainly wear. I guess I just really like the number three. Now, the one that we started the video with, this is the 511 Tactical Division Digital Watch. This one is in the TAC OD colorway. They also have another color, but I really like this one. It's primarily gonna be a range watch for me, although that's what I said, and now I wear it almost every day. But I really like this watch because, one, it's barely over $100, so if you bang it up, you're not gonna be too sad about it. And I just think it's a really attractive watch. We have our phones, we have other ways of telling time. So for me, a watch generally acts more like jewelry. But with the digital watch, it makes it really fast for me to check the time on the range and make sure that I'm gonna get back in time to do whatever other responsibilities I have for that day. Next, we have the Porter from Nixon. Now, Nixon is one of my favorite brands. I really like the minimalist look. Uh, this is definitely more of my, uh, I'm trying to look nice, maybe going out on a date with my wife uh, kind of watch. It still works, obviously. It's just a little more traditional. It doesn't have numbers. It's maybe a little bit slower, at least for those of us who grew up in the digital age, but it's lightweight. I wear it to the range sometimes. It's durable enough if I'm not beating it up. And I just really like the way it looks. The third watch is the 511 Outpost Chrono. It's a chronographic watch, has more of a traditional face than the Division Digital, which is part of why I love it. I can wear this with a sports coat and jeans, a little more casual dressy, or I could just wear it with what I wear every day. You know, it kind of bridges that gap really well. It has the nice webbing band that's versatile and it doesn't look cheap, but it also looks a little more expensive than it is. This one I believe is about $125, which is still a steal as a Japanese movement. It's really comfortable and I like it a lot. As far as EDC goes, watch is more along the lines of a luxury. You don't necessarily need it, but it's so convenient. I really like having them. Uh, it really adds to my day, and it's just a pride of ownership thing for me. What are your favorite watches? Let us know in the comments below. While you're down there, check out the links to subscribe to our newsletter and our print magazine, and we'll see you on the next EDC Explained.